Hey y'all, here are your June five. We have a standing twist for marching in place. We have a lateral lunge, an overhead press for your shoulders. And we're finishing up with a down dog. So I like to do all standing work in June because I'm figuring y'all are probably traveling on the road. These are all moves you could do in a hotel, minimal equipment, by the campfire. Yeah, let's do our twist to start. This might be mostly your arm swing in front and back. Relax your shoulders. You could bend your knees. You could turn your head, whatever feels like a good twist. We often do this one in Tai Chi where you let your arms come around and smack your torso. Take another big deep breath. So take this standing twist as a chance to check everything. But if you have been traveling, car trips, plane trips, how does your body feel? And what do you need to do a little more of, a little less of, to make you feel really good? And this march in place is our organizational move, but I am going to encourage you to pick up some weights if you have some weights handy. It makes it a little bit of a different move. All we're going to do is lift one knee, pause, and then see if when you transition to the other side, you can come back through center without a huge weight shift and then lift your other knee. Meaning if I did this or if I twist it, yes, yeah, so we want to keep everything right in the center, go nice and slow. One knee lifts just about 90 or whatever feels comfortable. Minimal weight shift as you transfer left and right. Let's see. I'm going to say this is number three and we're going to do 10. Breathing, broad shoulders, narrow ribs. So if you don't have weights, you could just do this march as it is. Makes it a little different move if you're holding something heavy. Dang it, I said 10 and then I quit counting. I'm going to say we got five more after this one. <laughs> I cannot count. Y'all know this. Last four. Take another big deep breath. Lifting your knee to just about 90. You can even flex your foot and ankle. Three. I'm going slow enough to stay in control. Last two. No need to whip through this. Last one. Ooh, let's do super bonus round. Lift and hold for a couple breaths. Oh, that's good standing balance. One more big deep breath. Second side, lift and hold. Big inhale. Oh, big exhale. I almost fell over. Now we have this lateral lunge. Go back to a small ish weight. And we're going to step out to the side, shift your weight so that it's mostly in your, let's say, your left leg. This leg bends straight forward over your toes. Step your leg back in. We're going to do 10 to this side and then switch. So you decide how low you're going. Lungy. That's two. Going from two feet to one foot. That's three. Be really nice to your knee. Watch what your knee is doing. So I'm not doing this where I turn my knee out this way. I'm stepping out with a parallel foot. So take a second. I'm going real slow. Pause and make sure your toes are pointing straight ahead before you bend that knee. What do we got? Five. I'm going to say we got five left. If this feels comfortable to boogie right along, you could step out, go into your bent knee position, step right back. If that feels too weird to go that fast, go back to your slow mo version. Last one. We're going to do that whole thing on the other side. So, slow mo to start, stepping your leg out. Shift your weight over to this leg. Now your right leg, right butt is working. Step your leg together. Let me turn to the side just so you can see what my torso is doing. Stepping out. I'm hinging forward. We'll say that's two. Here's three. Back to feet together. Here's four. I'm going to come back this way to show these last few. Five. See what that feels like to shift your weight all the way over to this butt, maybe picking up the pace for these last four. Three, two, 
Last one. And then I'm gonna kneel down just to show this overhead press so you can see what my arms are doing. You could do this from standing. I'm gonna start with arms just about 90 or goal post position. Pressing, I can still see my weight out of the corner of my eyes. That's three. So find a weight that feels challenging but doable. Here's five, six. See if you can stop at that 90 degree bend. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then if you're doing this as a strength workout this week, cycle back through that lateral lunge, 10 each side, 10 of your overhead press. When you've done three rounds total, come and pick up this down dog with us. So since I'm already down here on the floor, I'm gonna show the floor version, but know that there is a wall version that I'll show in a sec. So if this feels too owy on your shoulders or wrists, I'm gonna start in my plank, push my hips up. If you look at this and go, oh, no way, Jose, I'm not doing that today. Hang out and I'll show you the wall version here in a sec. Okay, so this is an active stretch for the whole backside of my body. I feel this in my calves. I could even lift and lower my heels a little bit, trying to work my heels close to the ground. I feel my hamstrings getting a big stretch. I'm trying to distribute my weight pretty evenly between my hands and feet so it doesn't feel like my shoulders are taking a lot of the work. I'm breathing. This is a pretty active position. I'm pushing the floor away, pushing my heels down. I'll take one more big deep breath. And then this is your wall version. You can bring your palms to the wall, start to walk your feet back. So this is a nice alternate that doesn't put quite as much pressure on your wrists. I'm still pushing into the wall, pushing into my heels, button in my best. So it's a pretty active position. I'm organized, pushing and pushing. Okay, so we had our standing twist, our march, that lateral lunge, your overhead press, and then your downward facing dog. 